Hey guys, welcome to your uh, general reading for Capricorn for your July 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, uh, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going. Okay, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. What else? Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn here. How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going? How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going? How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going for July 2023 for Capricorn? How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going? How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going? How is Capricorn's spiritual journey going? Let's see. With the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So one of the things I'm learning, uh, one of the things I'm getting here at Capricorn, I feel like I'm learning to trust your intuition here. This is interesting. I do feel like maybe you guys were born with a gift here of intuition, of foresight here. And I feel like you guys might be like kind of like taking this course, to, sort of like to fine tune your gifts, okay? learning how to operate it, learning how to control it or something like that. You guys might be reading a lot of books about it right now at this time, okay? But you guys are definitely taking the time to really learn, all right? High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. We have the Fool card here, Aries, Energy, and the Nine of Swords. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're learning also not to stress out. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to find ways to alleviate stress, anxiety here, depression here. One of the things I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like you're really just letting go and surrendering here and just enjoying the process here and not having to worry. So whatever this is, I feel like you're really stepping out of your comfort zone here and just doing things on the fly here. Yeah, without really planning it out, you know, just kind of like going along with the program here. Very uncharacteristic, like, of Capricorn, okay? Let's see what else we have here. We have the Knight of Swords here and Temperance. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy here. So what you're learning, you're learning about spirituality here. You're learning about energy work. You're le learning about healing work here, okay? So, you know, I feel like maybe you're doing some sort of body work here. You know, perhaps you guys are doing like, you know, uh, perhaps, you know, maybe you guys are learning about acupunctures and herbs and stuff like that, okay? But you guys are definitely on some sort of like spiritual path here, okay? Because it's almost like you're all zoned out here, okay? And, you know, the, the Page of Swords and Knight of Swords is individuals that are absorbing knowledge right now, all right? So tell me about the High Priestess here. With the Five of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands here. This is interesting. I feel like you're going through some major changes in life right now, okay? And one of the things I'm getting is that this change is upsetting people. This change is... <laughs> really ca causing some conflict here because I do feel like there are certain people in your life that are disappointed that you've grown so much, you, you evolved so much as an individual here and it's making people uncomfortable. Yeah, it's making people come uncomfortable and that, that, that tends to happen. And you know, and sometimes when that happens, we try to make people understand, but they're not gonna understand. So, you know, I just feel like you're kind of like, you know, what, whatever, the fool. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Seven of Wands. You're really stepping out of your comfort zone here, Capricorn. I feel like you're really facing your fears here or that you're trying to overcome your fears. Yeah, you know, overcome your fears about going with the flow or stepping into the unknown, okay? 
So I feel like you should be patting yourself in the back here because I just feel like you're taking some big risk, okay? Uh, because, you know, some Capricorns are known to be risk adverse, yeah? I feel like some, you know, most, most Earth signs are, but it really depends on the person though. The Wheel of Fortune here and Temperance, the Nine of Cups here and the Nine of Swords. You know, I, ju I just feel like it's almost like you're, re you're, you're discovering yourself or that you're, you're rediscovering yourself here. Because I feel like through this process here, I feel like you're finding a lot of peace and happiness here. Okay, so Capricorn, I feel like you're doing extremely well here. Extremely well. Except for the people that are getting kind of like irked out by you going through this process here. Um, let's see, what else do we have here for Capricorn? What else do we have here for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to look out for, work on here when it comes to their spiritual journey for July 2023 for Capricorn? Oh, okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. There you are right here. Well, typically that's Taurus energy for me, but it could be any of the, uh, I almost, like, almost said it could be any of the fish signs. Uh, maybe you're dealing with the Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. But um, yeah, uh, typically that's Taurus energy for me. But this King of Pentacles could be any of the Earth energies because all the kings for me are fixed energy, okay? So, and we have the Ace of Swords here. So what we have here is I feel like you're gaining clarity here. Yeah, you're gaining a lot of clarity here. You're having major breakthroughs. You're learning a lot. Yeah, you're learning a lot about spirituality here. You're learning a, a lot about connecting with a higher power, connecting with your intuition, connecting with your gifts here. So I feel like you're doing a really great job. Maybe some of you guys do have Pisces in your chart, okay? Uh, because that Pisces is a very intuitive energy, okay? Let's see what else we have here. The Eight of Pentacles here in the Moon. Yeah, and you guys are really, really working hard on connecting with your intuition here, connecting with your gifts. So I, I just feel like you guys are doing really well. You guys are doing really well. You've changed a lot and you're making people uncomfortable because when you're around people, it makes people look deep within themselves. You know, uh, you know, it it, 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 sort of like makes people, you know, kind of like look through their skeletons in their closet, and it scares them. You know, so the king of uh, king of pentacles here. So you kind of like bring out the truth. You know what I mean? Bring out the truth or expose the truth here, um, which I feel like you know some people are are scared of. Knight of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles here. Okay, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Pentacles here. You know, I just feel like you're definitely going into this with a lot of knowledge, a lot of love and compassion and empathy. So I feel like this is something that you're really deeply trying to connect uh, with uh, or that you've been working really hard trying to connect with because, you know, for a Capricorn, some Capricorns, it's challenging for them to uh, connect, you know, uh, emotionally with, to people because sometimes they can be a bit kind of closed off you know the page of pentacles here and the six of pentacles yeah it seems like you're you're it's one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like whatever you're about to do here i do feel like you're about to turn this into a business into a business and i feel like there's a lot of growth and expansion that's happening in your life here lots of growth and expansion here so uh, the Empress Libra Taurus energy, the Eight of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups, the uh, Moon here and the Eight of Wands. You know, I feel like your purpose is to bridge, bridge the relationship. It's uh, the gap between the relationship of one person to oneself. Yeah. So it's like doing deep inner work here, doing deep inner work here. I, I would not be surprised if uh, you guys are um, in the process of like starting like doing retreats or that you guys are planning on doing retreats here okay so capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below um subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye